I got this solar panel from Scrape and now I am going to install it on the roof of our office. The rated power is 330 watt. Before installing I will clean it so that we get the maximum output power. Placing it around the window and the most sunny place to harvest the maximum energy. And since it's close to the window it needs short wire for connection. The panel is facing north and south. I will connect this solar converter to see if it works. It's quite important to connect the right wires or else it will burn the circuit. Since the panel generating more power than our converter, it can't handle it and explode it. Now let's open it to see if I can fix this. The explosion sound is from the capacitor and no other uh, components explodes with this sound. As expected the capacitor exploded. I will remove it first. Its rated power is 1000 microfarad and maximum supporting voltage is 35 volt. I have found the same value capacitor. Let's place it. Now before connecting this solar converter I will measure the output voltage of the panel and current as well to figure out its output uh, power. I will measure its voltage at first. The voltage reaches at 98.8 volt while our converter needs only 24 volts and that's the reason it exploded and the current produced is 3.75 amps so this way it generates 370 volts of energy which is more than the rated power maybe because sun is brighter and the panel is cool as we just washed it with the water the wire is short so i am connecting a long wire it's better to connect the thick wire so that uh, it don't loses the power and avoid fire hazards
I brought this charge controller to regulate the voltage and current for the battery and load as well. It supports maximum 10 ampere of current. We will connect the wire from here. It comes up with this manual. We have to connect the solar panel at first two pins. It gives 70 voltage at battery port. We have to set our output voltage. We will see this later. Let's connect the solar converter to the battery port to see if it works uh, at first it worked but within a few seconds the charge controller stopped working let's open it and see what's wrong Here all the components looks fine. Maybe the MOSFET burned well, that's enough for this video. More details in the upcoming videos. Okay, hope you like this video and sure to subscribe. See you in the next video.